The Hawkeyes have a timeout remaining and 97 seconds with which to work. Here's the kickoff. Darrell Johnson Colianos to the 20, 25, brought down short of the 30 yard line. First and 10 coming up, Ashton Henderson made the hit. And this is where Stanzi has to go out and win this game. No game managing situation. This is what all these weeks have prepared you for. Can you come out now and deliver when everything's on the line? We know he's been erratic this season. He's had bad moments, had great moments. What kind of a moment is he going to have right now? The junior from Mentor, Ohio, Lake Catholic High School, Ricky Stanzi. Just 7 of 18 tonight. Can he find his tight end, Tony Moyaki? Or Darrell Johnson Culianos downfield. And it's caught by McNutt up across the 40 yard line of the 45. Tough catch. Good reception by Marvin McNutt. 16 yard gain. Clock management comes into play. Stanzi again. Hesitated for a moment. Able to spring forward and down he goes. Gain at three to the 48-yard line of the Hawkeyes. Trevor Anderson finally tracked him down. That was good protection for Stanzi. He just couldn't find a receiver open. Yeah, you're right. Great coverage down the field. Second down for Iowa. Second and seven. Stanzi goes the sideline route for McNutt. And Weaver knocks it away at the 30-yard line of Michigan State. Same type of go pattern they hit Johnson Culianos earlier on. But Michigan State's just making the plays. I mean, defensively, they've been in position this season to make plays. They turned it down. But as you can see, and as of late, when a player's number is called for Michigan State, they've been rising up to the occasion. Football just short of the 48-yard line of Iowa. Third down. Officially, they're calling it eight. Third down, a little bit less than eight yards to go. 54 seconds remaining. Stanzi again with time over the middle. Crossing pattern. Trey Strauss inside the 35 and tracked down near the 31-yard line by Greg Jones. 22-yard pass play. Boy, Strauss working the crossing route. Able to get sneak behind the linebackers. Good job of staying with them on the read. So much defense for so much of this night. These offenses responding down the stretch. Stanzi over the top for Colianos. He makes the catch and it's incomplete. He could not hang on. Boy, that coverage well measured by Chris L. Rucker. Good coverage down the field. That would have had to have been a perfect ball. Rucker reading the keys of the wide receiver. His hands go up. Obviously, that's a sign. Watch him read the keys. You know if the receiver's hands go up, your hands got to go up. Watch his eyes. Watch the hands. Boy, Stanzi dropped that right in on the back hip. That was a nice throw. Second and 10 at the Spartan 31-yard line for Stanzi and company. 34 seconds to go. Iowa, one timeout remaining. Blitz. Julianos inside the 15. First down for the Iowa Hawkeyes. 16-yard gain. Ross Weaver had the coverage in the tackle. Well, Pat Narduzzi mixing it up for Michigan State. That time he chose to bring the blitz. So what do you do? You throw right into it. It's one-on-one -on -one coverage. Good Hawkeyes job making the play. 15 yards away, first and 10. Stanzi lets it go, and it is intercepted. There's a flag down. Chris L. Rucker makes the interception, but I believe he pushed off on Darrell Johnson Culianos with the five-yard line of Michigan State. There's a lot of pushing and shoving on both sides. Chris L. Rucker, physical corner. Holding defense, number 29. 10-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Holding, Chris, means that it happened before the ball was released. Let's see what they call here. There it is. There's the hold. Yeah, especially when you get that arm 
on the outside of the receiver's shoulders. Shoulder pads. Well, Iowa's been here before in this second half. They need a touchdown to keep their record unblemished. They're the sixth ranked team in the BCS standings. 7 0. Iowa first and goal to go at the seven. Stanzi on the roll. Looks the other way to the end zone in traffic. Deflected away incomplete. Moyaki, the intended receiver. Grissel Rucker once again was there. Gordon, the linebacker, also in on that coverage. And that's just football intelligence from Michigan State. They know that Iowa loves to go to Moyaki down in the red zone. Way to be disciplined, hold the coverage and take that away. Nine seconds remaining for the Hawkeyes. One timeout left. Chris Rucker coming over top, making a great play on the ball. Watch Rucker read this. Good drive. Second down, goal to go. Stanzi again. Incomplete. Threw it behind Trey Strauss. Davis Clark had the coverage. Third down and goal to go. Well, they're making Stanzi make quick decisions. He's getting rid of the football. Still have their timeout. Just five seconds left, Chris. Can they get two plays? Can they squeeze two plays they out of this time. if they need it? They have time. Got to be quick. Quick shots. Third down, goal to go at the seven. Hawkeyes trying to keep their record pure. They are 7-0. They need a touchdown to go to 8-0 for the first time in school history. Michigan State bringing some heat. Stanzi, short drop on the slant. Broke it up incomplete. Instead of Trey Strauss, two seconds remaining. Fourth down, goal to go. Pat Narduzzi choosing to bring the heat, putting his guys in one-on-one -on -one situations. And you knew in this game, it's going to come down to winning a one-on-one -on -one matchup. That time, the defensive back won it against Strauss. Timeout. Kirk Ferentz. Iowa, third and final team timeout. Just took his last timeout. Fourth down, goal to goal. This is it. Yeah. Iowa's unbeaten streak on the line. They've won 11 in a row. It doesn't get any bigger or better in this play. Julianos and Strauss at the bottom of your screen. McNutt at the top. Morris, the fullback, is in the block. Moyaki on the wing. He goes in motion. Two seconds ago. Last play of the game. Stanzi, McNutt, touchdown! Michigan State Spartans 15 to 13. We said at the end of the day, can your guy beat their guy? And that's exactly what just happened. One on one coverage outside, bringing blitz pressure. Special seasons are made of this kind of stuff right oh, yeah. here. I mean, it's do or die. You, you make the play or you don't. McNutt hadn't done much all game, but when his number was called, seven got six. He is 6'4", 215 pounds. Marvin McNutt used his body well to screen Chris L. Rucker on that play. And the sophomore from St. Louis, Missouri, the biggest catch of the season to date for Iowa. Championship teams either find a way or make away. Ten plays. 60 yards in a minute 37. And you can tell Michigan State just had their hearts ripped out.